This video is about debugging if the energy simulation from detailed uh, rabbit models fails, like we see here. There is written different options like open the file in Green Building Studio or going in and look at the building elements that is used for the energy analysis or check the internet connection. And it's not very clear and transparent what is actually going on when you get these ones, but I think I found a, a way for this. But let's try to look at uh, the file first. We can go to open and then open the file in Green Building Studio. And in Green Building Studio we can see there is some arrows, that is the, these icons here, and we can also see that the run is failed. But if I move the cursor around this one, I can read or see the issue, and it writes something about the wall is too thick or something else like dense. Alright, then uh, we could uh, look at the walls, and in this case it actually wasn't anything about the walls. But let me go back to uh, Revit. So first I tried to change all the walls, but I actually found out it didn't change anything. It came up with the same issue. Then I tried to just model a simple box, same issue. Then just by uh, accident I changed the, the floor, uh, this one. and. For some reason it didn't like one of the materials, but the way I found out how it uh, made the issue was just changing the floor to another floor, and then after I was going in and, and looked at that floor that had the problem. So in this case, this was the original one, I go in and say edit structure, and when I removed the gravel material, then it worked. So let me show you, I will run the model again here, just first go in and check in the energy settings because in here there is also some option of making it to work better so it was a combination of both changing the material and changing the different analytical grid cell size and this uh, resolution on how it creates the energy model it's not very clear when it worked and when it didn't but I try to edit these uh, numbers and also uh, try to uh, use this one instead, that is uh, use function parameters. And the big difference between these two is that with this one, where it's use function parameter, then it tries to use uh, what you have applied for the different uh, construction, like walls, if it's interior or exterior. And the other one, then it's in a way going in and read the model uh, more intelligent and see what kind of surfaces is turning to the outside or the opposite. So in this case this was the setting that worked and then I just tried to run the simulation again created the model and press just OK to this one and I just using the same project and continue and then it starts the simulation and after a while you will see the result in the result compare window and right now we can see it's running and after a while it will simulate the model. Besides the different failures for the energy simulation as I showed in the beginning, you should also be aware of how it calculates the floor area. Especially for these detailed Revit models, it tends to not calculate floor area correct. And you see that by looking here under building performance factors, this have calculated the model to be 100 square meters but if I just go back to Revit and looking in a room schedule we see that this model is actually a little bit bigger it's 128 and it's difficult to say why it doesn't count the square meters correct in some cases like only 5 square meters even though that the building is 200 or so so be careful when you look at the numbers that is calculated based on the square meters. One more thing that you should be aware of. So I have selected this one and go to open the file in Green Building Studio again. And then you come to this side. If I go down to the bottom, we have the building details and assumptions. And if you look at the construction. It's very important to notice that if the construction is right, so all the construction I have made 
have um, the front letters of A, H. But in some cases, for some strange reason, it doesn't use this uh, those construction you have specified or used in the model. So it is important to go in here and look at the result as well to be sure that it is the right um, constructions. Another thing that is not uh, possible to control that is um, the air openings. You can do a lot of editing in the model, but it's nearly impossible to not get some kind of uh, openings. And unfortunately, in this case, there is actually two square meters of openings. And as default, it uses single tint green glass with a very poor U value. So you have to be aware of these issues.